Celia Cruz is our undisputable queen of Cuban music. She was music personified and that talent from the first moment she would open her mouth. No one sounds like Celia. She absolutely is the voice of Cuba. Celia comes from a, a neighborhood in Havana called Santos Suarez. She started very young. She entered contests for the radio station. And she won, of course. It was a cake. That was the prize. <laughs> and so little by little, that's how she started her career. And then she started singing with uh, La Sonora Matancera. And the rest is history, you know. From very humble beginnings in Havana to an international star. A superstar. That's pretty amazing. Her musicianship, you know, the musicality, you know. She got that music inside her soul and the, the flavor she, she put into the, her singing, you know, because that represents the, the most authentic Cuban music. You know, there's certain people that have this aura. She was cool. <laughs> Doesn't matter what, what age, I mean, she was cool with the hair, with the dresses, with the shoes. I mean, in a way, she brought respect to salsa and for women to be in that kind of gender of music, salsa music, it was incredible. As a woman, that was very hard. Well, as a, a Latina, a black woman, she broke all those barriers. Immigrants? A refugee and an immigrant. I think it was her energy. I mean, she was so yes. positive. The attitude she got on stage was amazing. Man. It was very contagious, you know. The people really loved her all over. The fans, that's what drove her. When she would go on stage, the whole place lit up. She would go out there, and from the first note she sang, you couldn't take your eyes off of her. Celia was a diva, but she never behaved like a diva. She was so humble. Beside that, to be an, uh, an incredible, great artist, Celia Cruz was an incredible person. She was a, a real role model. I mean, to me, when you talk about Celia, you talk about Pedro. Pedro was something, it's a combination that you hardly to find. In a way, because it was about love, it was about respect, it was decent people that wanted to make music. I mean, they were so professional. But we learned to be how humble they was with people and how they needed each other, you know, even when people don't believe and, and so many changes in music, they never change the integrity of, uh, you know, Cuban music. She always carried Cuba in her heart. That never left, she left Cuba, but Cuba never left her. Celia was, had a lot of pain in her heart that she could never go back to Cuba, even when her mother passed. They didn't allow her to go back. They've erased her from the history books. Anybody that went against the government automatically got canceled. She made us proud because she took Cuban music and salsa worldwide, and she was the ambassador for, for Cuban music. You can be famous, you can have hits, but to have respect in this industry is the hardest thing to achieve. Huge respect and admiration for Celia Cruz. God keep her very close to, to him. Celia's legacy is gonna continue through her foundation. It helps young people that want to make a life in music or that want to just have music in their lives. She is keeping music alive for young kids that perhaps don't have the opportunity and want to be exposed to it, are able to participate in. That's a wonderful thing to do. You know, she was very precise what she wanted about her legacy because she wanted the future generations to understand culture, music, and she thought that music was a way for children to connect, to dance, to laugh, to sing. The minute you say the name Celia Cruz, you gotta smile. You gotta smile anywhere. It could be anywhere. You'll get that smile. That's the power of Celia. There's no one else like her and there never will be again.